Okay, if you're just tuning in, this is the new Marketing Masterclass. I'm Meredith Allen, your host today, and we are going to get you organized and set for the new year. A little bit of housekeeping. The music will not be on all night. And I always, listen, my friends make fun of me. I'm a quarter, right? But let's set the intention for today and for the new year, because that's where I'm at in the spirit of giving. My favorite quote, one that drives me and I hope resonates with you. And I'd love to see your feedback. I did enable chat in this, so you may chat as much as you wish throughout this presentation. We would love to communicate with you. And so there's no distraction. I'm going to close out the music and begin with our quote. So I'm going to move this so you can see because I'm, I'm sharing my screen. And I'm going to start off with a few things. Number one, I've definitely hosted a few Zooms in my day. And many of you may know me from my former day when I was a TV anchor. So I really enjoy hosting and interviewing and sharing information. It's a huge passion of mine. And in the past year, I've had a wonderful ride with a lot of great new friends that I found through the Global Mastermind. Many of you who are tuning in got a very special invitation, just you all um, who were previous clients or fellow masterminds to join in on this class. So I wanted to say hello and welcome you and let you know that we're going to move fast and furious and you should have an organizer downloaded if you don't no worries i'm going to bring it up on the screen we're going to go through page by page all the important information and i'm just going to start with this quote to set the intention this is always how i'll open a class i may close a class on a quote too you never know but i collect them and i'm a fan so my favorite here i'm, I'm going to share with you is until one is committed, there is hesitancy, the chance to draw back, always in effectiveness. Concerning all acts of initiative and creation, there is one elementary truth, the ignorance of which kills countless ideas and splendid plans, that the moment one definitely commits oneself, then providence moves too. And the point there, my friends, is, and this is a very old quote, that you have the power to make your business flourish. And marketing is such a key component, which is why my work is so rewarding and I'm so fortunate to be with you to share all of this information. So with that being said, we'll close out our inspiration and begin with the work. I am going to share my screen most of the time. Um, I do realize, though, you may want to see me and say hello. So does everybody understand a little bit of housekeeping that you can chat with me? So in the right-hand corner, uh, I have a chat enabled. And I have it, um, I'm going to save the chat. And you are allowed as viewers to ask questions as needed. I would love it if you'd say hello and tell me where you're tuning in from. I see several of you are on the line, but I, I'm new and I don't. Have the ability to figure out how to see who's on so if you could just check into the chat um, there is a way if you touch the screen if you're tuning in online um, to hit the chat button to open it up for you so please consider doing so telling me who's online and where you are I'm just gonna get going because your time is precious it's the holidays and I want to be sure to get you as much as you need so that being said, we're going to switch over to my screen. And I am going to minimize all of this. I am going to open up this. And we are off and running with our organizers. So first things first. Why do you need an organizer? Well, here's the breaking news that you must know. So in order to set yourself up for some success, and I really commend you if you've had lovely success without it, you need to build a really strong foundation. You need to be focused and clear. And you really need to commit to the fact that if you're gonna take yourself up, we call it 10X thinking, uh, that's the mentality I encourage with all my clients. And if you're my friend or previous client, you must know that I see immense success in your future but there's a lot of work involved. So it starts right It starts right now, it starts with getting organized. Now, 
the essential bits that we're going to be going over tonight are putting everything in one place. Because let's face it, we all have work to do, and there's some work we'd rather not be doing. So should we, every time we work with a new vendor, every time we work with an agency, every time we think about putting an ad together, every time we put a brochure together, would you like to use this tool so that you never have to search for the information. You don't have to wing it and make it up. It is all in one document. How beautiful is that? So I want you to go ahead and pull out your organizers or your notes now. This is a good time to get started. If you haven't printed your organizer, no problem. I'll send it off to you later. Just take some notes. You want to start off with if you don't have a business name, get a business name. Um, it really is pretty important. My business is Drive Marketing. I host the Meredith Show, so we promote that a little bit more than Drive Marketing specifically. I work as a consultant. It's a little different than a traditional coach because I'm kind of bossy. There you have it. I tell people what to do, and we definitely want to tell you that it's important to get yourself focused and on task tonight. So the only bossy thing I'll say is um, make sure you're in the zone. If you have some distractions, let your family and friends know you're doing some serious work. I'm gonna try and wrap this up in 60 minutes and there's some follow up later. If you're welcome to email me with questions, I'm absolutely open to that. Okay, so you wanna start off with keeping in a place where you can cut and paste from your business name, street address, your email, your website, your mobile number, your business number. Again, I know they're in your mind, but isn't it beautiful to just send it off to somebody when you're organizing yourself? It's, again, a great time saver. Another thing that happens very frequently is as you grow, you want to share your logo with people. People want to cross promote with you. People want to advertise and support you. They may gift you something, but if you don't have a high resolution copy of your logo handy, you are not in luck. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and enable a feature, stand by. I'm gonna to toggle between my screens. Um, the other thing is, I'm just gonna make sure I can see, I see there are several of you on here if there is a chat going on that I'm not aware of, so just a moment. Okay, I don't see it there. Stand by. I think I have to disengage my screen share. I just wanna make sure if you need to speak with me, you know I'm here. And if you do post a note, or have trouble communicating with me during the broadcast, there are a couple of options. You can email me at Meredith at the Meredith Show and I will get back to you eventually. And that's Meredith at the Meredith Show.com. That's M-E-R-E-D-I-T-H at the Meredith Show.com. And it should be the email you received in order to get the information to join us. And I'm gonna make that small. I'm gonna stop sharing. Okay. Oh, Felicia and Hussein. Hello here. Good. Okay. So we have some representation from Texas in the house. Um, feel free to go ahead and post in anything else. Uh, how am I doing guys? Are you good to go with the beginning? Do you, does anybody have their organizer printed? Hey, Cindy. Oh, how exciting. This is awesome. Great. Okay. Cindy's got her stuff printed. Um, Felicia, Felicia and Hussein, I hope you do too. Hussein knows what I'm talking about, right? Give me some, yes, give me some affirmations here. Hussein is also a fellow marketer. He's a genius with all things with funnels and Facebook. I love to promote my masterminds. Yes, and he asked these same questions over and over and over again that we're going through. So how awesome is it to have yourself set up and organized and ready? Okay. Um, in order to share my screen and keep going, I'm going to have to say goodbye to chat, but keep going and I'll, I'll check in from time to time. Deal? Sound good? Okay, good. All right. Back to share screen. Back to my desktop. We're good. Okay. And let's see. I think I got a reminder there for our meeting. We're good. Okay. Back to our Word document. So I'm going to make it big. So you have the basics, you know where you are, but nobody else does. This is the, the, the mistake I see time and time again, is that people really assume a little too much. Okay, so I wanna make sure you cut and paste that high resolution copy of your logo into this document. The next thing is, please don't tell me you can't describe your company in 200 words or less, because you're in trouble. This will be required and requested time and time again. 
You're even going to have to shorten it into your 30 second pitch, which I love teaching and that would be a different masterclass. But I hope you have that down. If you don't, I'm here for you. Just to email away to set that up. So make sure you have a description of your company in 200 words or less. This is a lot about your why. It goes really far. So what you do, of course, is important. But you'll hear marketer after marketer and um, anybody in this industry really emphasize that people don't buy your products to buy your products. I know, crazy, right? They buy them because of your why because of what you're doing that makes a difference, how you can help them. So moving right along, because I told you we're gonna move fast and furiously, you wanna paste in any links you have to pictures that are relevant to your products and services. So when anybody wants to do an article on you, say the dream comes true, New York Times calls, and they need, they're not gonna come to your house necessarily, but they need photos of your business, your product, your building if you have one, and, and they need to be nice and good. So make sure they're on your website and then put the links here to them. It's that simple. So if they need a different copy, they'll let you know. Now, this is another thing that Hussein and I talk about a lot with our clients, preferred keywords. So no matter what you're doing, there are a few keywords that people are gonna search on that mighty monster, Google, to find you. And so you wanna make sure that in my case, I'll give you some examples because I think that really helps. Marketing, advertising, public relations, social media, um, website management, Facebook, all of those things that I help people with as a consultant, I wanna put those words out there throughout my copy, throughout my website, throughout my ads. And anybody who's gonna help you with an ad really needs to know that information, okay? Now, here's another really fun fact I'm gonna share with you. Short bios of key employees, at least 100 words separated by returns. Why is that? Well, 99.9% .9 of the clients that I onboard have a website that is not marketing them. How could that be, you ask? Well, here's the deal. The website has great information, but it doesn't have the searchability. It isn't optimized. And if it doesn't have you, your employees, or anybody who's working with you on a staff bio page, you are missing a huge opportunity. Because guess what the number one visited page often is when people log onto your website? It's your staff. It's the about us. So if you're missing that information, huge mistake. And I can tell you, if you have this information ready to go, my optimizers that I have a you know, really wonderful special rate, again, I'm always open to sharing my, my vetted vendors with you. Uh, my optimizer is gonna ask immediately for that and some photos. So get it ready, do it now, do the work, put the work in. If it's easy, everybody would be excellent and successful, but not everybody is for a reason, okay? I know it's a little bit annoying. now. The other thing is that just makes me bananas is when I have a client who gets really good press. They're on the news. They have a wonderful photograph of them on the cover of something really cool. And they don't ask for a copy. They don't get the link. They don't follow up. And what is that? That's not just crazy. That's marketing gold going to waste. It's what I call marketing gold. You want that social proof shared over and over again. I have a lovely client that Hussein and I were both worked together with, and she was on the Dr. Oz show. So the first huge mistake I saw was she didn't put it everywhere. She said, well, I think that's braggadocious. And I said, I think that's nonsense. There aren't many people who don't respect Dr. Oz, and there's a level of credibility and expertise that landed you there, and your clients need to know that, right? So she, she needs to get consistent with sharing that wonderful promotional opportunity. So. If you have something like a brochure that's downloadable on your website, put the link here. Anything that shows off your services and your wares should be readily available, organized, and in one concise place. And I don't mind telling you there are many ways you can store this information. I, I thought about getting very in-depth, but I'll just say this. Look into the Google Drive. That's my personal favorite. I can store videos there, I can store a client file with all of this material that I go through as I bring in clients and get them organized. Um, 
I, I just think it's a wonderful place to keep all of your things in an area that you can share. You can collaborate with others on a document in the Google Drive. I'd be happy down the road to share a masterclass on that. I think it's very valuable. So make sure to do so. Now, I started to touch on this a little bit, but if you have a TV commercial you've produced, it's not over when it stops airing on NBC. It's your forever marketing tool, as I like to say. There are things that are evergreen. So if it was a special just for Christmas and Christmas passes, you still want to put it on your website. You still want to show that beautiful piece that you've produced. It's yours. You've invested in it. And it's great. So the ideal video, though, to reuse and reshare may not have a timely stamp on it. But you need to keep all of this together. You don't want to struggle to look for it. Say you want to produce a, a spot with another company the following year. You might want to quickly pull that video up and show them for an example. You don't want to have to search for it, right? Okay, so I'm going to do a quick check-in. And I want to make sure that I'm going to enable the chat feature again. And it'll just take me a moment. I want to make sure, friends, that you don't have any questions. So. Tell me if you have any questions. Any questions here? Pretty straightforward about the why. I'm giving you the why behind some of this because I know a lot of you are like, Ugh, I know all this stuff. Why do I have to cut and paste this link here? It's really because if you want to be professional, you want to step it up a notch, you need to do it. You need to do it to save yourself time. You need to do it because at some point, Somebody should be running your marketing for you, and it shouldn't be you, and you should have everything readily available, right? So that's great news. Okay, so I don't see anybody typing in that they have a question. It's 620, just doing a quick check-in with you all, and I think we're moving along very nicely, and I'm, oh, I'm excited. We've had somebody who just joined. Let's see who it was. Ah, my friend Brenda in South Carolina. This is awesome, people. I just need to give a shout out to the fabulousness of technology. I see you all over the country tuning in. So this is wonderful. Thank you. It's very exciting. Okay, we're going to go back to screen share. We're going to go back to our document. And let's see. I'm going to go back to the desktop, share screen and go back to our Word document. Okay, so we've covered why you need to have all this information together. As I go through, I'm gonna explain it all pr pretty well. Um, audio files, this is the age of podcasts. So even if you have a TV interview, there's a way to convert it, it's called an MP4. You wanna store all that and save it as well. If you've ever used a tracking number or call tracking administrator, you wanna make sure to keep that information handy so that we can take a look at that. Uh, if it's ongoing, we certainly want to make sure that your marketing people, your team, your employees all know what it is. I'm gonna take a moment for those, I don't wanna assume anything who don't know what a call tracking number is all about. When people are guests on The Meredith Show, and for instance, I put them on NBC on The Meredith Show, that's happened in the past. I believe Brenda's tuning in and Brenda was on the show. She got a nice surge of sales. She knew because people told her that it was from the Meredith show. But what if you get uh, sales online where you don't get a chance to ask people? Uh, at that point, Brenda was selling all natural dog treats and she was flooded after being on the Meredith show. It was such a heartwarming experience for us both, very exciting. But if she had only sold through her website without any way to track it, you would want to assign a phone number when you have your broadcast airing that tracks everybody who comes through. You can even do that with your website. If somebody goes to your website, you might put a specific phone number on there that tracks who's calling from the internet. You could put another number on a TV commercial, another number on the radio. So hopefully you understand what I'm saying and why it's important to keep track of that stuff and share it and keep it together with those that work with you and help promote you. Okay, the other thing that I do for my clients frequently is create a press release. If you are just launching, you wanna celebrate it with a press release. If you are doing something new and wonderful in the community that you think is gonna really 
um, that's important to you, period, that you think will resonate with your clients and customers. Something of appreciation. Maybe you've done a huge giveaway after a fabulous year. You want to write a press release. And I have really good services, and we put it out. Typically, if someone writes a press release with me, we put it out nationally. We put out targets for what city or industry you're targeting. And the average consumer gets over 221 different media outlets to pick it up. So you want to make sure, if that happens to you, that you have a link, because nowadays everything is digital, that goes to it, that you can share with people for that celebration, that wonderful award. Uh, I've had a client recently here in the Global Mastermind, Raj, who wrote a book, um, and he was uh, attending a huge event as a speaker. It was just a wonderful month for him. And he now has that forever marketing tool, that press release will live on for forever on all those sites and all those places, but he needs the link if he wants to share it again. And you do want to share it with prospective clients on your website, from time to time on your social media. And that rounds out the links to anything else. So anything that you have done that you're proud of, that is out there somewhere, you don't want to be lost forever. Again, marketing gold should never be hard to find. So it shouldn't be hard for you to find and it shouldn't be hard for your clients or customers to find. So make sure if those links are available, you put them in this document. So literally I'm talking about cutting and pasting and put things in. Now, here's the beast. Okay, I recommend that everybody put their passwords in one place. Now, there is a dilemma and a difference depending upon what you're doing. I have 11 pages of passwords. My clients rely on me to log in and do things through the years, and I've accumulated a lot of data. I keep that stored online in one place, password protected, alphabetized in an Excel spreadsheet that's searchable because it's overwhelming to go through 11 pages if it weren't organized very well, right? Now, do I think you need to do that? It depends. I really think there's some good merit to making sure that you have everything not only together, but if you are small, you don't know how big you're gonna grow. If you grow 10 times in a year, you might really wanna invest in a little bit of time in organizing and starting off right with that Excel spreadsheet of maybe five different channels like your Facebook login and password, Twitter login and password, Google login and password. Um, a little bit of advice. Do not use your pet's name. Do not make it easy. In this day and age, unfortunately, these things get hacked all the time. You may not want to use the same password for everything. Everybody has a different opinion. I don't think it's the best idea. So these are all the channels I'm scrolling through that I think many of you are on. Um, you really want to make sure that if you have a host or a WordPress, that's your website people. Many people are WordPress these days. You just have it all together. Again, it's not that we don't think that you can't remember a few things. It's that you may step it up, and I hope you do this coming year, and you may need some help, and you may have people supporting your efforts, and it just makes sense to, to send them this document or parts of the document as they need it to work with you as they apply. Okay. Now to the fun stuff, competitive positioning. Okay, we're getting a little more in depth. I'm gonna make this smaller. I made it big earlier, and now I'm going to stand by, make it a little easier for you to see. Okay, so we're gonna make this a little smaller. There we go. And hopefully this will be good for even a little smaller. Still at 300% there. Okay, there we go. I just want to fill the page because I know it's a little smaller on your end. Okay, so I know you've probably printed this out, but have you really looked at it? Probably not had a lot of time to do so, right? So let's take, take, talk, let's take a minute to talk about your competitive positioning and your strategy. So Hussein and I also had a client who had a lot of channels, and I'm sure she wouldn't mind me sharing that they weren't all named the same. In fact, some of them were not in, really related in name at all in nature to the others. Her Facebook was one name. Her Twitter was another. Her website was a completely different one. 
But she did the same thing and she was trying to reach the same people on all these channels. So we said, let's strengthen your brand and let's come together and make sure that people know, this is also the client who was on Dr. Oz, that you're a resilience coach and everything you do reflects that. She's an expert in helping people overcome obstacles. So she renamed her website, theresiliencecoach.com. Her Twitter is the same. Her Facebook is now the same. And within two weeks, it was like a whole rebrand was, was virtually accomplished. And you want to make sure that you're clear on your branding message and you're competitive. So the next thing you want to look at is what sets you your product, service, and company apart from your competitors. I think that she was on Dr. Oz. That sets her apart a bit. Most people don't make it to a national talk show early on in their endeavors. Uh, the value there is she also works with divorced women, and she's been through it, and she's come out fabulously. And I think that she's different because – she is not only empathetic, but encouraging and motivating, and she's funny, and she has written a fantastic book that she uses to give her an advantage to share about. So there are specific questions coming up here that allow you, I want you to really go through them, okay? And I know you can't do everything in an hour, but I'm going to challenge you to get it done by Monday. How about that? Give yourself a couple of days. I know it's the holidays, but are you better on price than somebody else? Is your quality better than somebody else? How unique is your service or product? These are things that you don't often think about, but you should. Trust me. You are so strong when you're focused, clear, because then your message and your branding, like I just said, is unstoppable. So do you have better features? How are you on effectiveness? Do you have a better service? Is that because you have a system that nobody else has? Are you innovative? Are you better on market share? Um, do you know what market share and distribution channels are? Distribution channels are how you get your things out. Um, how much do you own the industry, that the market that you're in? Brand awareness is what I've talked about continuously. Branding is going to be the buzzword of 2017, trust me. So if you're not clear on your brand, you just need a little bit of help and it's important. So name recognition, are you overcoming? Did you inherit a business that had a bad reputation that needs help with becoming a good one? If you inherited or you have a reputation that's stellar, share it, share, and don't just brag about yourself, share what other people say about you. Do you have good corporate citizenship? Are you a financially sound company? How are you on sales and their ability to sell there? Why? Always answer the question, why? What are we doing? We're building up your strengths and weaknesses, and we're focusing on areas that we can improve, and also your strengths are areas we want to market from. So the next thing we're building into is who are you selling to and why? What does your ideal dream customer look like? Okay, now. A lot of people, let's just say for me, for instance, I think that I'm a good example. Okay, everybody does need help with marketing, right? But they're not all going to be my client. Unfortunately, I'm maybe not the best or most cost effective for someone who is just starting out because I really want to help people and guide them with their budgets and give them the power for ultimate success. And how do you get there? Well, I'm sorry, but if, if you have a little bit more of a marketing budget to invest in so that people like Hussein and I can team up with our services to help you, you're going to move along a little faster. Uh, the big thing is my dream customer is also very coachable, very open. They are a yes person because I will not work with somebody who pushes back. And what do I mean by that? Do I like being bossy and bossing people around? And that's the reason why no. Do I know a lot about marketing? Yes. So when I tell somebody that there are three areas they should be focused on and I give them actionable steps, items, and deadlines, and they don't do it, they're not my ideal client because I'm setting people up for success in a rapid succession of steps 
like we're going through here today, and that doesn't work very well. So who makes the buying decisions? Who influences buying decisions? Um, what kind of companies are we looking at? Frankly, I like people who also, if I could get a little deeper with my ideal client and customer base, who happen to be in personal development, who are working to better the world, who have a bigger mission than just selling a product. Someone like my friend Brenda, who's tuned in from South Carolina, who really does improve the quality of people's lives through healthier living and their pets' lives. So, I mean, what a warm fuzzy is that? Who wouldn't want to work with somebody who's who's helping people live their best life. So awesome stuff, right? Now, you really want to put some thought into this. You know, what kind of people are doing what in your industry? What are the trends in my market and industry? I think that masterminding is the bee's knees, if you will. That's why many of you have been invited as my first class attendees. And the reason I think masterminds are my market and my industry is because they're always willing to invest in excellence. They're always looking to support one another. They are givers and they give and give and give. I'm giving this out for free because I am so thankful for the support and wonderful opportunities and connections I've made, <clears throat> excuse me, in my mastermind. And so ideally for me, I'm looking for somebody who's investing in their company, who cares about being forward moving, who is coachable. So we just went from everybody who could use help with marketing to some really specific people that I target. So it's no mistake that we are working together right now. Okay, now, the next step is a little bit complex. Take a deep breath, shake it out if you need to. Um, I'm gonna roll my shoulders here. You can't see it, but I am, it's true. Okay, we're doing some work. So the life cycle stage that your industry is in, you need to kind of keep it real. I hope you're not into DVDs because I hate to tell you, but the DVD is pretty much dead. So I hope you're in a product or market that's either new or if it is not new, you're kind of in luck because there's a lot of marketing data out there. I would start looking at the competition. I would think about who makes decisions in your field. I would do a lot of research if I were you. And the truth is most people don't research enough about the competition, the market, the industry that they're in. The other thing that's very interesting is that if you're in the pet business, that is a multi-billion dollar business. I know that because I've had multiple clients in that arena. I'm also a pet owner, a proud pet owner of Biscuit. Many of you know my little black lab who's sleeping by my side here. I thought she might make a video debut, but she's kind of sleepy. Guess marketing isn't her magic. <laughs> it's also her bedtime, so I won't be too sad. Anyway, okay, so growth, maturity, decline in revenue, um, you know, what, what would cause your revenue to decline? You need to think about these things because I promise you, for me, I'm very fortunate. Most clients I take on, I've had for full five years or for the duration of, of the relationship with very rare exception. So my revenue is building in that sense, in that model. And it's, and it's a good thing. And um, what would make it decline? Certainly if a company shut down, that's not in my reach, but um, I did have uh, a guest on my TV show who I loved and adored. I loved her products, but she's no longer in business. Actually, there are two. So that'll happen. So you really need to anticipate that. Um, how do you get around the competition? How do you get a leg up? One suggestion is to offer a discount. Um, really be familiar with your competitors' rates if you have them. Okay. What is your primary value proposition, people? Please tell me this isn't the first time you've heard it, but if it is, I'm going to help you out. Uh, primary value proposition. So I am a marketing expert. Primarily, <laughs> I have a broadcasting background. So people who get to work with me that are my clients often get an appearance on my show, The Meredith Show. I think that having somebody who's a seasoned journalist with help you write with your copy, think about your brand, move you forward, is a pretty big value. So that little package and my TV background is pretty awesome. 
My secondary value proposition might be that I'm a mastermind, that I think bigger, I think smarter, I think more efficiently, I think faster than many other people. This is not a time to brag. These are things you just want to be honest with. I'm not one who is going to help you with your accounting. <laughs> that would not be my primary, secondary, or third value proposition. However, all things marketing are going to fall in line with my value. So think about your value. What three things does your brand mean to your customers? I say share your story, share your passion, share your magic. Those three things, if we accomplish them together, give you limitless marketing focus and all those things. So I think everybody has a three. I have a lot of fun helping people figure their three things out. Uh, that is something that we can follow up with on a later date. There are some great pains. Uh, my, my market segment's greatest pains are they don't have a lot of time. Everybody who has a successful business or a growing business has limited time. I'm trying to help people get organized, create systems, create focus so that these pains are eliminated. And finally, you really want to think about what are the personality traits that describe how you want to market? Um, are you the most reliable um, coach out there? Uh, are you, and, and there are some examples here in the form, strong, true, precise. So what's your brand promise? I promise you that you'll get out of your comfort zone, that changes will happen if you work with me and I consult for your marketing because I don't believe that re rinse and repeating what you've done forever that hasn't given you the growth you want is ever going to work. When you get to the good stuff, you can rinse and repeat that later. And then you still want to grow and you still want to change. So it's really, really a good idea to come up with a positioning statement. Um, and then here we go. There's that branding word. Look at that. The brand, in fact, half of this page is all about branding. So I cannot believe we got through this so quickly. This is awesome. Okay. So at this point, I'm going to redirect to a couple things. I'm going to go back so I can see who's there. And stop sharing my screen. Okay. So, oh, wow, we're up to almost 10 people on. That's almost everybody who registered that I can see at a glance. I think there are more, but that's all I can see. That's awesome. Okay, so we just went through some difficult stuff. So um, go ahead and find your chat feature. Uh, and I really want to hear from you. What would you like to hear a little bit more of? Uh, that's, that's a good question. Was this helpful? So let's start with that. Was this helpful? Give me a yes. No, uh, couldn't hear you, Meredith. I would love your feedback because this is my very first time upgrading my Zoom so that we could have a larger, longer meeting, should we like to. And I'm really excited. I didn't expect, I was thinking this would be a little bit harder that we wouldn't be able to get through it. Oh, Jeannie, hi, my friend in Utah. Mwah! Hugs to you. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Tamia. Thank you. Okay. I have, a, I do have a friend in Vegas on. Awesome. One local friend. Awesome. Maybe two. We'll see. Good. Okay. So here's what I'm going to give you in summary. Thank you for the positive feedback. Um, a few things. If there's anything that was hard or you want to learn more about, send me an email. I'll take that under advisement because I want to keep going with this. And I'm kind of excited about something that I want to share with you all. Can you all, I hope you can see. Hi, Amy. I hope you can see the chat, and uh, which is really cool. I'm going to go ahead and see. I'm pasting a few different things. Let's see. Okay, cool. All right. I'm going to share something with you. Let's see if I hit enter, if it works. All right. All right, I have something I'm going to put in. There we go. Oh, hi, Mia. Mwah, mwah, mwah. My friend Amy just had a baby, and I had the pleasure. 
of babysitting her daughter while she was having her, her newborn recently. And so, hi, Mia, if you can see me or hear me, I miss you. And this is my house. She keeps asking, it's so cute if she can come to my house. I have no idea. How is Mia four? I want to say she's three or four. Um, <laughs> so anyway, uh, before I let you go, uh, and I want to say hello to Mia and everybody out there and thank you. I have something exciting I want to share with you. I'm having a little trouble clicking through, so I'm going to share it on the window coming up, and I'm going to email it to you if I can. Um, coming up here, all right, go down to the end, hit return. Okay. So I'm going to pull up a full screen. I'm going to give you guys another gift. And I'm just feeling like it's the best season to give. I'm on fire. As I keep referencing, I'm so thankful that I had such a great year with my mastermind. Many of you have heard that my revenue has increased immeasurably. Since I joined the mastermind, I got a bookkeeper because I stink at the accounting portion. I now understand it a lot more, but I forgot to build my clients. Some of you have heard this confession in the past, right? So I wanna give you all a present, so stay on board. We have an all-time high. The numbers are really rising here. I'm not sure why. Oh, it's because I'm not hitting share screen, I think. Hold on, let's see. Let's see if I can do it. I wanna share this with you. I'm gonna bring up another gift, if you will. I am launching something new next year because of my love for you and obviously my passion for helping others. So without further ado, uh, okay, hold on, don't do that. So don't not to do that, hitting share screen. Okay, give me a moment, guys. I'm gonna bring it up. All right, here we go. Here's my gift, just for you, just today. Okay, I am launching with a very big gift for you all, beginning in January. I believe I have it down for January 15th, but this is gonna be recorded as always, so you don't have to be with us live. A marketing mastermind, and here's what I wanna tell you about it. The mastermind is going to be something where we'll have live interactive opportunity through Zoom, so not just the chat feature, and I'm going to bring in fabulous marketers. My, my dear friends and all of the best vendors that I know to help you have them at your fingertips and have the best year possible. So setting you up for limitless success because I feel that accountability is awesome. I'm gonna create a private group just for my mastermind, just like our GMP, where you can log in and ask all your marketing questions and have access to me and these colleagues I'm telling you about. One of them is a billionaire branding expert, a shared friend of Iris's and mine, I won't reveal his name yet, I'll let you get excited, but he, I'm going to bring him in, um, one of the nicest, most down-to-earth persons here in Los Angeles, but has international clients, and we're going to get into your branding. Yes, we are, and we are going to have optimization experts on, and people who do Facebook ads, like Hussein on, and explain what a click funnel is, and why it's so important, and how you can do it, and how they can help you. We're going to give you discounts with these vendors, and we're going to do it every month, again, again, and again. And I'm doing it because there are a lot of pain points I hear over and over again from my clients. Did you know that LinkedIn has given me more than $20,000 worth of income each month? Um, I'm sorry, each year. I could do it every month for you, but it really depends. But many people don't have their profiles optimized. You hear me talking about it. Many people do not have the understanding about how to connect and the proper way to get a sale without being salesy, because nobody likes being salesy. So without further ado, here's my gift. This is something that is not gonna be cheap. So for you, my friends and colleagues and previous clients, I want you to be in. I want you to be in from the beginning and so while this is something that's going to be $497 a month for most people, this year through at the end of December, starting today, I have put together a coupon to shave $300 off of that monthly rate. So mind you, friends, that my hourly rate is 500 an hour. So we're already really getting down to the nitty gritty. And I'm really dishing out my favorite stuff to you. And I'm going to send you a link and I'm going to share it with you. You're looking at the page. 
to use the coupon. Here it is. So you can write it down. It is New Year, standing for New Year, NY 2017. That's the code. Again, it's NY 2017. And you go to this little handy dandy form. And here's my fellow masterminder, Miranda, who gave me an amazing, nice, wonderful recommendation in my page. And you go in and you put in, I'm going to do it for you, NY 2017. Okay. You hit apply coupon and that $497 rate goes down to $197 per month. If, if, you don't, if you join my mastermind and you don't see a surge well beyond $197, <laughs> then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to refund that money. How about that? We'll, we'll work on that because I really believe in the power of the mastermind, that supportive community and the spirit of giving. Oh, and there's one more gift, but wait, there's more. I almost forgot. If you click on yes, add the Meredith show there, I'm going to give you another gift. Many of you have been a guest on my show in years past. It's been like $1,200, $800, $500 for various different lengths and, and stuff like that. Well, for one time, if you'd like to do an interview with me, I'll pull you in on Zoom. We'll have beautiful lighting and editing, beautiful graphics, and I'll help you share your story. And if you'd like to add an appearance with a 15-minute interview that will put a paid uh, Facebook promoted ad online so that the world can see your story and your message. That's the, the root of your why and your branding. You can check this little box off right here on this page and you can, you can add it in for, let's see, what did I have it on? I, is it 99? I think it's 199. Yeah. So whatever, it's the cheapest I've ever done it. I'm doing it because I love you guys. You have amazing stories and I want to share this with you. So, um, although I can't open up to chat and it might just be because I don't know how to, can I, can I keep it real and honest with you? This is my first time doing this and I thought I'd be able to see you. There is probably a way to see you. I'm going to click on participants, see if I can see you. Um, I'm going to hit unmute all. Okay. So if you want to talk to me, you can, you can say, Hey, if you're not already muted, very good. Uh, very cool. Oh, and you can start video or raise a hand. Look at that. That's kind of cool. Um, all right. But that being said, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Let's see. Share screen. Stop share. I'm going to take this link. And I'm going to go ahead and put it in our chat. And I promise if for any reason I'm not successful at sharing that this deal will be good. I think I'm going to hold it through the end of the month. And then I'm going to put it back up to $500 in full price. So I am going to stop sharing. There we go. And it looks like. Oh, cool. Tamia, you can see all that stuff. Awesome. Okay. And I'm going to hit delete. See if I can type that message to you to give you the link live in real time. And I think, oh my gosh, there's so many of you there. This is awesome. I love that you're staying with me. I'm not able to share the link. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm gonna go right to my Facebook under Meredith Nicole right now, because I know many of you are on the computer and I'm gonna solve that problem. I'm gonna give you that deal. Now, this is not, it's gonna show full price, okay guys? So you need that code. It's NY 20, 2017 to type in, but here's my gift. I'm typing it in right now for you. Here's my gift for, 2017 and I'm going to post it. There you go. You have access to my mastermind deal and you are the only people who have access to that code right now. So that's for you. And if you want to share it with somebody else, just let me know who so I can give you permission and make sure because I really wanted to share this with the people who've been so supportive. 
And oh, sad day. I see notes on Facebook, people who missed out that wanted to join. Oh, well, we'll see. I'm still feeling generous. Maybe we can share the recording <laughs> and share the love, as I like to say. All right. So there you have it, people. This is so much fun. I could do this all night. So we got done in like record breaking time, people. Let's see. Okay, so the post is up. Hussein sees it. Thank you for liking it. So there you go. You can click through and take a look. You can save, save, save. And uh, again, that code to save my friends to get my gift is NY2017. And I'm excited. I want to make sure also if you have questions about the kit that you contact me. And again, it's Meredith at TheMeredithShow.com. I'll send you an email with a follow-up, a little thank you with that code reminder, and you can count on it. And yes, you may share it with others. Just again, give me, please let me give you permission. So send me a message, send me an email, let me know what's best for you. And with that being said, I think we're getting ready to end this. Does anybody have any last questions? I'm sorry it jammed up. I, my plan was to share that link with you here in the chat bar. Um, oh, somebody's raising their hand. I'm, I'm learning how to see all this. Okay. Cool. Oh my gosh, there's so many of you there. This is awesome. Okay. I can't share that link, but it's okay. I am going to make sure you can all find me on Facebook and I'll send you the follow-up email. And I'm so excited. Thank you for doing this with me. It feels so good to help you set your intentions for greatness. And I always like to end a broadcast with a genuine feeling that I have. We know you or somebody out there that you know is doing something amazing. So please don't keep it to yourself. Take a little bit of time to share the love. I love you all. I love my mastermind. And thank you so much for tuning in. And I cannot wait. Oh, and thank you, Mia, if you're still there. Mwah, a four-year-old viewer makes my day. I can't wait to figure out how to see you guys. So next time we get this running, I hope to see your beautiful faces. And I look forward to many more. Oh, kisses. Mwah. Okay. Thank you, everybody. This has been so cool. And I can't wait to showcase some of you in my future mastermind. Please let me know if you're interested. And I appreciate you. Thanks for all that you do. Take care, guys. Okay. Sad but true. We're over.